Hello everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of Week in Musings. In the previous episode, we spoke about what data privacy is and the regulations which are in place by the government to protect sensitive and personally identifiable information of the users. Previously, we had looked at the challenge from a user's perspective. Now, I wanted to look from an organization's perspective and talk about the data utility and privacy trade-off. For many companies, data sharing, interlinking, mining are essential parts of their business model. So the data that is being collected from the users or the customer's interaction with their applications are being used for various different purposes. One, to recommend product and services. Two, to improve the customer's experience. Three, to refine the company's marketing strategy. Four, to transform the data into cash flow. Five, to iteratively enrich their data lake. On one hand, information like user behaviors, social interactions, and spending patterns, including personally identifiable information like location, phone number, nationality, etc., are being used to build a very refined personalized experience for all of you who are the users. But on the other hand, users have been at times been exposed to offensive or unwanted advertising, data sharing to third parties, and other privacy breaches. There is a need for a fine balance between building personalized experience for users while respecting and safeguarding their privacy. In the world revolutionized by data and digitization, more and more personal information is being shared and stored, which opens a new field of preserving data privacy. So one of the recent researches going on is in federated learning. If I may tell you what's federated learning, it is also known as collaborative learning, which is a deep learning technique where training takes place across multiple decentralized edge devices or client servers. So this is being trained on users' personal data without sharing that data externally through their devices, thus keeping the data private. So this is a win-win situation for companies who are looking for this personalization and users for their data privacy. In this approach, the phone downloads a generic machine learning model and after using your data and further tuning or improving the model, a model summary is calculated. So thousands of summaries coming from various different devices or from various different users are anonymously combined and then they are sent to the organization. So basically the retrained model weights. Now this provides a global improvement to the model that it makes it better for everybody. So you get a smarter phone and better personalization while your data still stays within your hands and within your reach and is not exposed to the organizations. So federated learning is a really complex and convoluted architecture with like a really complex system. So in the next episode, I'll dig a little deeper into what federated learning systems are and how are they set up and what are the possible challenges in these and how they can be addressed. So come back here next week and learn more about federated learning and just explore what are the different use cases. So to stay updated with the latest video which are being posted on Weekend Musings, definitely go subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much, everyone. Thanks for watching till here and see you next week.